Hello, welcome to lesson one on gates and circuits. My name is Dr. Ritesh Ajuda. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify basic gates and describe the behavior of each one. You should be able to describe how gates are implemented using transistors and combine these basic gates into circuits. So what is a gate? A gate is a device that performs a basic operation on electric signals. This allows gates to provide formal decisions on input electric signals. There are six gates, the NOT gate, the AND gate, the NAND gate, which stands for NOT AND, the OR gate, the NOR gate, which stands for NOT OR, and the exclusive OR gate. We can describe the behavior of these gates by using Boolean expressions, logic diagrams, and truth tables. Boolean expressions uses mathematical notation, a branch of algebra called Boolean algebra, which associates each variable with two values. Logic diagrams associates a symbol to each gate, providing a graphical representation of them. And finally, truth tables matches every combination of input to an output value. The NOT gate inverts the input signal. That is, if A can take the value of 0 and 1, and if A is 0, then A NOT would be 1. If A is 1, then A NOT would be 0. The truth table shows all possible input and output combinations. If A is 0, A0 would be 1. And if A is 1, A0 would be 0. The AND gate produces a 1 if and only if A and B are both 1. Here is the Boolean expression for an AND gate, where A and B are both binary variables. This is the symbol for the AND gate. The truth table lists every possible combination of input, that is, A for A and B, and shows what the output for the gate would be. As an example, if A is 0 and B is 1, then A and B would be 0. If A is 1 and B is 1, then A and B would be 1. If you were to put an AND gate through a NOT gate, you would get the NAND gate. The Boolean expression for NAND gate is an AND gate with a NOT. Here is the logic diagram for a NAND gate. The truth table shows how the AND gate is inverted. For the same combination of input, we have the opposite outputs to the AND gate, which give us the NAND gate. Let's move on to the OR gate. The OR gate produces a zero if both inputs are zero, and one otherwise. This is the Boolean expression for the OR gate. Notice how the OR gate resembles the addition symbol in algebra. However, in Boolean algebra, this represents the OR symbol. This is the logic diagram for the OR gate. The truth table shows that both inputs have to be 0 for the output to be 0, and any other case would result in a 1 output. Similar to the relationship between the AND and the NAND, if you put an OR gate through a NOT, you will get a NOR gate. This is the Boolean expression for the NOR gate. Notice that the NOR gate is a OR knotted. The logic diagram for the NOR gate looks very similar to the OR, except with this little circle at the end. The truth table shows that for the NOR gate to produce a 1, both input signals need to be 0. Finally, we come to the exclusive OR gate. The Boolean expression for an exclusive OR gate looks like the expression for an OR gate, except there's a circle around the OR. The logic diagram for the exclusive OR gate looks like this. And finally, the truth table for the exclusive OR gate demonstrates that if the inputs are the same, we would get a 0. And if the inputs are different, we would get a 1. Now that we understand how these gates would work on electric signals, let's try to parse two sentences into the gates and interpret the output of it. Suppose you've got two statements, A, I will pass BCO, and B, I will pass IAP. Then not A would be, I will fail BCO, since A is, I will pass BCO. A and B would be, I will pass both BCO and IAP. A or B would be, I will pass at least one course. 
A exclusive or B would become, I will pass exactly one of the courses, either BCO or IAP, but not both. A NAN B would be, I will not pass both courses. And A nor B would be, I will fail both courses. There are somewhat subtle differences in shape between these six gates. The AND gate and the NAND gate are quite similar. However, the NAND gate has a little circle at the end of it. The XOR, NOR and OR gates are also very similar, but there are differences in the graphical representation. The OR gate is different to the NOR gate in that the NOR gate has also has this little circle in the front, and the XOR gate are different to both of these NOR and OR gates in that it has an extra back. Gates are implemented using transistors. Transistors revolutionize technology and are the fundamental building blocks in practically all modern electronics. We could spend an entire course dedicated to the innovations which gave rise to the transistor, how transistors actually function, and the greatly admired importance of the transistor in modern electronics. But very briefly, a transistor has three terminals, a source, an emitter, and a base. The emitter is typically connected to the ground wire. If the base is on, then the, the transistor emits and is earthed. If the base is off, then the transmitter becomes an insulator and the output is on. Given the properties of the transistor, it is not surprising that we only need one transistor to implement a NOT gate, since if we input a zero, we'll get out a one, and if we input a one, out would come a zero. For a NAND gate, if we connect our transistors in series, we can achieve the properties of a NAND, where V1 and V2 is A and B respectively, and the output is V out. For the NOR gate, if we connect our transistors in parallel, we can achieve the properties of the NOR gate, where V1 and V2 are A and B, and V out is the output of the NOR gate. Using the gates we described in this video, we can construct circuits. Suppose we have inputs A and B that go into an XOR gate. We can share the input from A and B to go into another gate, a NOR gate. We can have a third input C which goes into a NOT gate, and together with the output of the XOR gate from A and B, C NOT can go into an AND gate. This AND gate can also go into an OR gate with an input, which is an output of the NOR gate. By manipulating these electric signals, you can achieve very complicated expressions using circuits to solve some interesting problems that we will explore in later videos. As an exercise to solidify your understanding of the concepts presented in this video, consider doing these five exercises. Invent two statements and try to interpret the results of parsing these statements through the NOT, AND, OR, XOR, NAND, and NOR gates. Try to draw these gates by hand and restate their properties after drawing each one. Try to construct the NAND and the NOR gates using the transistor, and then see if you can do it with an AND and OR gate. After doing this, try to figure out what is the minimum number of transistors that you would need to implement an exclusive OR gate. Finally, use each of these six gates exactly once to construct the circuit.